welcome to my backyard garden. Today I want to talk to you about how I save tomato seeds. So tomatoes are the most widely grown and most popular vegetable in the world. And I like to save my seeds from year to year rather than buying them from a uh, seed company. And I just like to save my seeds overall. So today what you want to do is find your most successful and best looking uh, and highly productive uh, tomato plant. And then you want to get a really nice tomato from that plant because that's how you're going to pr uh, propagate that, those characteristics and have uh, really nice plants and really good uh, tomatoes from year to year. So, and you, you want to do that on heirloom plants, not hybrids, because if you use hybrids and you use those seeds, they won't produce the same uh, tomato with the same characteristics as the seeds you took it from. So you want to use heirloom tomatoes uh, when you save your own seeds. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to slice this thing open. And you don't want to slice it down from the top. You want to slice it along the equator, along the side. Because that will let you get in here and get into the seed uh, cavities a lot easier. So what you want to do is just get in there and dig those seeds out. This is really nice tomatoes, by the way. These are Jetstar tomatoes. They are a tomato that was developed in the 1930s in South Central Pennsylvania. And my wife really likes them. I don't eat tomatoes, my wife eats them, so I grow them for her. But these are, there's a lot of meat on these tomatoes. So you wanna just dig those out and get all the seeds and all that gel. There's Notice there's gel surrounding those seeds and the gel is a growth inhibitor that keeps the seeds from sprouting until the tomato is well on its way to overripe and you can't eat it. Okay, so now that we have the seeds out, this is what we're looking at. Some seeds, the gel, some liquid in there. What I want to do is ferment those seeds. And by fermenting, what we're going to have to do is let that sit for a few days and just kind of go bad. So I'm going to add some water to this. Stir it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to set that off to the side someplace and let it ferment. And it's going to take maybe three or four days for it to ferment and for that gel to go bad and dissolve so you'll just have the seed by itself. So that's what we're going to do. Let's take a break and we'll come back in a couple days and see how this looks. Okay, so we're a few days down the road and there is a film that has developed on top of the water here and I see some seeds laying on the bottom of the container. And so what I'm going to do now is take this fork and I'm going to lift off that film that's on the top of the, uh, the water here and we'll see what happens. This is the first time I've done this like this. Normally I use a different process to get my tomato seeds, but we're going to see how this works now. I'll just take it like that. Yeah, it's not going to be that easy. There we go. Take that off. Scoop a little of that off. Yeah, that doesn't work very well. I think what I'm going to do is take them right to the strainer. Okay, the next step is we're going to take this and run it in the strainer, just like that. Set that off to the side. And we're just going to rinse this out real good. Let's use the sprayer. And you want to spray and get all that old gel off of that so you have nothing but seeds. Now, the seeds that are in here are supposed to be the good seeds. The bad seeds that aren't going to germinate are floating in the top of that stuff that uh, 
got moldy at the top, the top of the water there. So this is their seeds. And you take this and put it on top of a plate as soon as I get these seeds back. Okay, all we're going to do is tap these down, get the seeds on the plate here, and we're just going to let them dry. Now you, when you put them out here on the plate, you want to spread them out so they can dry evenly. They don't stick together. They don't get moldy. I want to show you something. I got a seed that is sprouting right there. I'm going to get rid of that. Back to the sink you go. Then that's what that gel does. It's a growth inhibitor. That seed's okay. Anyway, it's a growth inhibitor. Keeps these seeds from sprouting. So I'm just going to do that. Separate them a little bit. One thing you can do is take a knife. Excuse me, leave the camera here. Take a knife and separate them. But you know, you get the idea. So I'm going to let those sit there for about half a day. Move them around a little bit until they dry. And we'll come back and see the finished product. Okay, we're a couple days later. And here's your seeds. So, I'm going to show you this. This is what they look like when they're dry. Completely dry, ready to store for the next growing season. And uh, there you have it. So, it takes about a week to do this. Then you got seeds for next year and be able to reproduce what you grow this year. Hope that was helpful. If you liked the video, give it a like, share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel and if you would, hit that bell button so you can be notified of any uh, new videos that I produce and get up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye-bye.